Hello, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Now, as I recall, where we left off was in the underground, and we were looking for a way to get to the Bogley Woods. I seem to recall I got a bit lost last time. I couldn't quite figure out how to get to those woods. So let's see if I can do better this time. What's down here? Ah, yes. So we still don't know how to access this here. Or this thing. So I don't think the answer lies down here. Although it very well might. Hmm. <sighs> Perhaps as is appropriate to such a chill walkthrough, today was a very sleep-filled day for me. I had been very bad about my sleep schedule the past few days, and I neglected to sleep quite a bit, which ended up in me sleeping for a very long time last night. And so I slept until about noon today. And then after I woke up, it's Saturday when I'm recording this. Um, and when I woke up, I was just so tired. I got out of bed and I started to like, you know, get the day going. And then after about an hour, I was like, nah, not feeling it. I just got back in bed. <laughs> And I turned the uh, the heat up because it was like super duper cold in my apartment. And then when I woke up, because I just like got in bed, I was just so tired. I just rolled into bed. Ooh, soft stomp badge executes superbly to make enemies soft, which I think reduces their defense. But anyway, I uh, I had the heat pumped, and I got into bed and fell asleep for five additional hours. <laughs> And when I woke up, I was so swelteringly hot. I was just, like, going out of my mind from how super warm I was. So that wasn't the best. Oh, man. I'm just absentmindedly walking around and getting mad star pieces. Um, yeah, it was, like, swelteringly hot. So I jumped out of bed and turned the thermostat back down. No real point to that story other than to say it was very sleepy. Um, which kind of sets a precedent for this whole Let's Play, because I love just chillin', relaxing, and things that help me relax. I was listening to uh, some videos on GiantBomb.com. It's one of my go-tos nowadays for stuff to relax and fall asleep to, is those guys just playing games. This was very nice. Now, there's a pipe over there that I cannot seem to get to. Whoa. I probably should have known that would happen. Dodged it in time though. No rust on this boy. Despite the fact that I haven't played since sometime yesterday was the last recording session. I'm trying to stay on top of it. I'll be taking a trip to Chicago in about a month and I want to have at least 30 episodes uh, from today um, recorded. Not 30 episodes being recorded today, but from this point onward, I want to record about 30 episodes until I leave so that I don't have to worry when I'm away. I can just post and uh, the videos will never stop. So uh, if you're worried about interruptions, there's some words. If you're worried about interruptions, don't be. Because I've got so many that I'm going to backlog. I'm already sitting on about eight right now, which is really good. There is a concrete block up there, uh, but I don't think I have the power to smash that even if I wanted to, because my hammer is kind of wimpy right now. I've got the just basic hammer. Shine Sprite. It looks like I pop up that pipe out of somewhere else. How about this? I strike first. Looks like that fiend has a mushroom, so he might be able to cure himself. 
I wish Mario had a hammer move that would hit multiple enemies. I feel like he gets one later, like a hammer toss or something. Because that would be super helpful. Now see, he took his mushroom. But at least that stops him from trying to attack me, so... I don't really have to worry. But yeah, I really need to find that entrance to the Boggly Woods. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long to, uh, to find that thing. I don't think it'll take me the, like, full 30 minutes of an episode to find it. At least I hope not. Zoinks. Another star piece. How many star pieces does that make? I've got five now. I don't think that's enough to buy any other really good badges. I bought that quick change one, but I don't have nearly the BP I need unless I take away. Hmm. Yeah, I would have to take away an awful lot in order to use that. There's this weird... It looks like an X marking the spot, but I don't feel like I can do anything with that yet. Let's see. Almost fell down that grate. Man, those nuts. I know where that thing leads to, too. All too well. And I don't want to go there. It's not that scary. Oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. But I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll, I'll be here till tomorrow. This is sad. Hmm. So I couldn't get on the train. It seemed like I was really on the right path. With this whole going down here thing. So I'm not going to give up on it yet. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to try talking to everybody over here in the thief town. Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go nuts, and some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you've jumped on an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. I didn't know about that. Doesn't seem to open. Wait. I kind of want to try that out now. Oh wait, but I can't try it on these guys anyway, because they're spike dudes. Mm. <sighs> there really is nothing I can do here. Because there's that paper, but I can't remove it. You know, I'm going to go ask the professor and see if he can help me out. Because doesn't he, like, tell you stuff? He can, like, guide me. I know that Goombella can check out an area, but I remember in the last episode, like last time, I had asked Goombella about that room down there, and she just mentioned, oh, we have the ability to go through bars. And I went through the bars, but there was, like, nothing I could really do. All right, let's go see what the professor's saying. Professor. There's our old bud, Ouija. Wait, can I use my shine sprites here? What do you say? To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Oh, but do we want to power up Coops? He's pretty good. I mean, his shell attacks are second to none, especially on spiky enemies. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw of your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. 
Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So which partner would you like me to power up? So with Gumbella, I could use Multibunk to attack a foe multiple times. And with Koops, I can use Shell Shield to protect Mario. I was kind of hoping the Koops would get a new attack, so I'm kind of less... Huh. Like, Multibonk sounds really good. I might actually go with that. Let's do it. Gumbella's been with me the longest, so... I think it's Shazubi. I think it'd be good for her to get powered up. Alright. Then you may go. Oh wow, she gets 20 HP. Okay, Professor, what do you say? There's a pipe that leads to Bogley Woods beneath town. I suggest you look for that. Hmm... <laughs> Let's see. I can't remember if we had checked. Had we checked thoroughly down in this area? I guess we were down here looking for the Thousand Year Door again, when we needed to access that. What's through here? Oh dang. Now I'm in the background. So this might be the key. Huh. Hello, welcome. I'm Merle. Underground, cute as can be. A fortune teller. That is me. Lucky for you, coming here, I tell fortunes, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come more as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Yes, sure. That's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? Um... Huh. Special path, 50 coins. Might as well go all in, right? Okay, that's fine by me. So, ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. What's gonna happen, you guys? She put Mario in a box. <laughs> um... Please don't hurt Mario. He's the only one I've got. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. What does that mean? What did you do? Hmm. Well, it wasn't quite what I had hoped it would be, which is the path to the next area, but I guess it's something. Okay, let's normal hammer. And we've already tattled them. Switch back to Coops. It's tricky because I really like Goombella, but she just doesn't have anything for spiked headed enemies. And there seems to be so many at this point in the game, which is unfortunate. But as soon as there isn't, I'm gonna get her back. Hey, what the background fell on me. As soon as there isn't, though, I'm totally getting her back out because multi bonk sounds amazing if you can time it correctly. Okay. Let's fly across this little gap. Just trying to run through this whole area as quick as I can. Is 
So there's nothing over here? No. And the stone pipe leads to the first area, so that'll be no good for me. I need to get to the Boogly Woods. Boggly, sorry. Boogly Boggly. So let me try going back through this area. Maybe there was something... Ha ha! Have I been through here yet? Oh, that's right. It was this thing. <sighs> well, nerds. And that just leads back up and over. Okay. Man, I was so sure that I had found something. Let's see. Yeah, this is just that thing, which I can't access yet. <gasps> Finally! A thing that's new. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. I did see that. Let's ride. Come back, come back. Eek! Don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Of course not. Guess again, nerd was the option there. <laughs> oh, that would have been mean. For real? Phew, boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Um, are you one of the creatures from Bogley Woods? What are you- Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No, you must be. You guys are working for those x knots. Oh hey, if you press Z it goes backwards. I just found that by accident. <laughs> you guys are working for those x knots, aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues. To the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys? In the great tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about the crystal star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about crystal stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh, what was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the Puny Elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us redeem or claim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. You got it, buddy. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we do need to get the Crystal Stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? Alright. It's this way. Do 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 do. Wait, hang on a second. Yeah, we can't fit in there. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! <gasps> oh yeah! Now I had a feeling if I went this way I would get this thing finally. Damage dodge. Decrease damage by one with a guard action command. That is a really nice badge. Let's see if I can equip that thing. Badges. Damage dodge. It needs two. I might get rid of Power Smash and I'll get rid of Multi Bounce for now. I don't really need that super badly. 
So damage dodge. All right. Feeling pretty good about our badges, but I think next level, I definitely want more badge power. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. All right. Oh yeah, fading to white, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for chapter two. We're getting there. Chapter two, the great boggly tree. This area looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of Okame a little bit. Okami. Another really nice looking game. So, the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. What do we run into next? Um, okay, just a little bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. All right. Save point here. Actually, that feels like a pretty natural ending point for this episode. So I might stop this one here, and then we'll get to the Great Bogley Tree next time. <laughs>